What's up everybody, welcome back to the vlog. And today's episode is gonna be a review of something really cool that Trish and I did recently with our own two kids. And it was a blast. So a few weeks ago, we took the kids on Sunday up to Navy Pier in Chicago for the Chicago Toy and Game Fair. Not knowing what to expect, we had heard it was really cool, but, but it was so much fun. So just picture this giant exhibit hall with tons of vendors all showcasing new uh, board games, toys, scooters, card games, all kinds of fun stuff, and it was so much fun. And while we were there, we ended up purchasing some of our favorites that the kids got to play with that day, and I wanted to share some of those with you all today, because not only are these great games to use at home with your own families, but these five, one, two, three, four, five that I'm about to show you are all perfect for the classroom as well. Well, one of them, eh, but most of them are perfect for the classroom, so, so let's take a look. One of our favorite games that we actually tried, and the, the creator of this was there, she was phenomenal. She got the kids involved in it right away, and we started playing it, and, and it was a really cool game that we liked as a family, but would be perfect for a classroom as well, and it's this game called Wing It. And Wing It is it's called a game of extreme storytelling. So let me just tell you exactly what happens. It says, how will you avert a potential disaster using the random resources you happen to have on hand? Inside are disaster cards, or they call them situation cards. So there's situations, right? They look like this here. And he, like, here's the situation. It says, the Leaning Tower of Pisa is finally falling. There are tourists on every floor, and they're all obviously snapping pictures as it tilts a little farther every second. So that's the disaster, the p potential disaster. Every player has five resource cards and you must pick three of your own to make up a story about how you're gonna stop that from happening. Like here's some, a complete collection of Hancock, Hitchcock films, a drum set, three close friends. So let's say those are three that I had to try to solve this situation with. It's so much fun. Now, I know that that situation might not be something you'd use in a classroom with younger kids, but our son, who's in second grade, absolutely loves this. It was our daughter who's 10. And Trisha has thought of all these different ways that she can take it to her classroom. Maybe not even playing the game, but using some of their awesome written cards as a way to prompt some creative storytelling. So if you really want your students working on that creativity in their storytelling, this game, Wing It, from, I gotta, I gotta remember who, Flying Leap Games, LLC. Check them out, and we'll, we'll link websites below in the description, but it's a fun game, not just for classroom, but also for him, family, and uh, we've, had, we've had so much fun with it. All right, the next one is kind of another storytelling game, but it's called Schmovie. Schmovie was one of our favorite ones to try at the conference, or at the Toy and Game Fair, and then Olivia even got it signed by the creators, because it was the game she picked out as like her souvenir from the day. Schmovie, Schmovie. S-C-H-M-O-V-I-E is described as the hilarious game of made-up movies. So what happens is you roll a dice and you have to decide if it's going to be a sci-fi, horror, rom-com, drama, action, or pick any genre. And then there's cards, who and what. So like this one was an action movie, the what was mutant, the who was a sandwich. So you have to make up a title about an action movie about a mutant sandwich. And there's tons of different combinations in here. Our kids have come up with some really creative things at home. Now I know you might not play the game itself like that, picking different things in the classroom, like judging and whatnot, but just coming up with creative titles is a cool way to get kids working on creative writing in the classroom. So again, not designed for a classroom at all. These are family slash party games, but perfect, perfect classroom use items right here. So great job, you creators. This one is created by uh, a guy named Brian and his wife, and they are Galactic Sneeze. Galactic Sneeze, what a cool title, right? Galactic Sneeze is the, the company and the brainchild behind this awesome game called Schmovie. Let's look at another one. All right, the next two come from our new friends at Goliath Games and Pressman Toys. We, we connected with this company at the Toy and Game Fair and have been, been super, super excited about the relationship and the partnership we're able to start with them. Uh, they've made some awesome donations to some, some people in need that we've helped out that you saw in the last video. One game that we tried there and then we ended up buying ourselves is called the Word Search Game. And this is just a brand new, fun, fast-paced twist on a classic word search, except you're, it's multiplayer. It's pretty awesome. So you you can see like these colored tiles are the markers, right? And you mark different words, but you might have to take away somebody else's depending on if you find the word first or not. You rotate to find one word at a time. It's so much fun for looking. It's, I mean, it's just word searching, right? So looking for letters, looking for patterns and words, 
Our kids and us play this almost every night before bed. We absolutely love sitting down and playing this together, and I know Trish is gonna have a blast with this in her classroom too, at Game Club, so thank you Goliath Games for, for helping us out with that, but this is one to definitely grab for your students and your family at home too, guys. All right, and the other one is from Goliath Games, or Pressman Toys, which Goliath and Pressman, I think, are, are, are like sister companies. Um, this one, maybe not for the classroom, except for just some fun, like there, there's not a learning component like those other games I just showed you. This one's just a blast. It's called Hydro Strike. And Landon picked this out as his souvenir from the day. What it is, is a basic pinball game where you're shooting a ball back and forth, trying to score points, right? But the cool part is when you score a point against your opponent, your opponent gets sh shot in the face with water. It's pretty awesome. We have had a blast playing this at home and I know that you will in your own home. And, and just imagine your kids in your classroom playing this for fun. And then the last one is actually developed by some people we met who run a school called the Bennett School in Chicago. And they've developed these games that are um, Story Dealer is what it's called. So Story Dealer. Story Dealer, and they have different categories. Like this is Story Dealer, STEM, or STEAM. It says collect one card from each category. The who, the what, the when, the where, the why. It looks like that. They offer multiple ways to play this game. The most basic play is just collecting a card, each from who, what, when, where, why, to inspire a fun story, right? And then they offer other suggestions in here. So, so let me just show you. Like, let's say I collect a who, what, when, a where, and a why. All right, so I've gone through, we've all got our cards, but I collected the first set of five first. So my why is, it looks like there's a thunderstorm, yeah? My where is in the ocean. My when, and it shows the time on a clock there. My what is, looks like a bird carrying a letter. And then my who is this crazy looking monster eating a device right there, right? So my job is to tell some kind of creative story about that monster who is in the ocean at five o'clock. He's got a bird and there's a carrying a letter and, and, it, and the why is it's storming out. So I have to come up with some interact or creative story using those five cards. How cool is that for your students, right? Like talk about creative storytelling and creative writing and creative everything. Great job. So to all you folks at Bennett Day School in Chicago, I am so excited about what you're doing for education. Great, great job. So that's the STEM one. They also have a picnic party one. So it's open-ended gameplay. Build picnic plates for fruit and veggie characters. So see how they're building this plate by collecting different cards, by telling stories. And then this one's really cool. This is the DIY maker set. So they're blank cards and your kids get to draw different situations of who, what, when, where, and why and come up with their own ideas to add into the deck. So that was created by some awesome people, awesome teachers, awesome uh, staff at this school. And, and how cool for them to be out there marketing this on their own, creating things for their own students and then taking to market. And I, I think it's awesome. So those are the five that I encourage you to check out. Again, with the holidays coming, these would be great purchases for your classroom as a whole or your family at home or your students, whatever it may be. If you're a parent looking for a gift for your child's teacher, highly, highly, highly suggest getting games because teachers can always use these. And we, we love incorporating things like this into classrooms. So great ideas for Christmas, for gifts, for whatever, and just for you at home. So check those out. Story Dealer, Hydro Strike, um, Word Search, Schmovie, Wing It. All of them you can find on Amazon, except I couldn't find this one. Thank you to all the companies who are supporting our channel um, and helping support Trisha's Game Club, helping support our donations to those teachers in California. And uh, we've got more. There are so many more games that we love to play and even more from some of these companies that I just, I, I, I have to review still and I'd love to do on here, but um, we're excited. I also wrote a blog post about this, so be looking for that on our blog. We've kind of listed them with Amazon affiliate links on there as well. I will link the websites below to where you can purchase these and more about the companies. But um, that's it for today. Go check them out. Have fun playing games with your kids, your family, whoever. And uh, we'll talk to you soon.